with with Daniel, I was kind of deflated after that first match because I had this sense of like I was I really felt like my hook was and still may be world class. Who knows? That motherfucker's just strong. But I'm pulling through heavyweights over here, known heavyweights. I'm put with in practice. I'm I'm I am I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling confident. And when I go in there and he pulls through my elbow like that, I felt, you know, it was I was like, I felt I got in my feelings a little bit. So I was like, no straps, even though we had agreed to the straps, right? Like, no straps. <laughs> I like it. Fuck I like straps. the switch. Fuck we're on, it. We're, yeah, I was like, it's a fight, fuck ain't a fair fight. Fuck yeah, you. no stress. I lied. So, uh, <laughs> ah, that's good shit. That's good so, shit. Uh, that's why hey, right laughing. there is a fucking. You just said everything. Doug Garlic has no integrity when it comes to the Zero. pre-match. <laughs> I will kick hey, you in the nuts. Well, it's also I will lie to you. Good I question. Will... Dog is a good arm wrestler. I wonder if uh, if. Daniel, if he if he feel if he felt a certain way about that, he did. Oh, we we were he did. We were he didn't. He wasn't mad about it. But we talked. We've talked a lot since too about training and stuff. And and uh, but he he uh he that's why he was laughing so hard and kept on saying strap 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 strap. And uh, cause I told him I told him strap. <laughs> Oh, but, that's great. That's fucking great story right there. Yeah, yeah but I, I mean, and I showed why outside the straps. I was, I, I felt good. I felt real comfortable outside the straps. But like he said afterwards, he was going to get the straps whether I wanted to or not. Yeah, so he, he can get there. The dude's just better than me right now. So I, 